So Rock chapter 5 verse 7 and it reads, Make no tarry to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Thanks, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught me you the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith for God's people here for a bear. Make no tarrying. And we know all you Israelites see what's going on. Still playing around, lollygagging. Waiting for that um that right moment to seek the Lord, right? You you're gonna wait till you knee deep in the shit to try to seek the Lord instead of seeking the Lord. Now, the Lord got his hand stretched out to a rebellious people that don't care about nothing. The Lord's hand is still stretched out, but the Lord said, When I call, ye refuse. I will mock when your fear come. Do you not understand what's going on, Israel? The Lord is going to make fun of you. When you when you catch pure hell, when you at, when you at your darkest moment, your darkest hour, and you need help, and you crying and snot coming out your nose and all that, and you, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do, you, do you not know the Lord's going to be looking at you like, don't say shit to me. You had time. You Israelites had time. The Lord gave all of us time. Now, now is the time. What, what is it say again? So, rock quick. Something quick. Something quick. I got, I got to head out the door. You know what I'm saying? Got to go to work or whatever. But the Lord said, don't make no tarrying. I mean, uh, carjacking is at an all time high. Lawlessness. I mean, the Lord have us repeating these, these things each and every day, man. I mean, water ain't no damn good, but you've been knowing that. Fires everywhere, wars everywhere, crimes everywhere. I mean, Everybody lying like hell. Everything is fake. And the only thing is real is your how about Shimia was shot, but you like, I'll wait. I I'll wait to seek that. So rock five and seven. Make no terry to turn to the Lord. You don't wait when it comes to seeking your power. You don't wait. The same entity that flooded the whole entire earth, you playing around. You you playing around. The, the Lord like your enter into this ark, the spiritual ark. You like nah, I'm good. I don't think fire is coming. I don't. What the man is saying, if it is gonna happen, it ain't gonna happen in my lifetime. And put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath when you least expect it. Look, look, say safety on um, worries. People worried about you no know saying that it ain't safe enough on the streets. You can't even go out get a bite to eat without something happening. You can't go to the park without something's happening. But 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 you said you're gonna put the Lord off and put all not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. When you think you're safe, because you you with all hell breaking loose, you still think you're safe. You you still you Israelites are so gone. You really think you're really safe from what's coming. Matter of fact, since I'm already here, let's just get it. We bring these scriptures out every day, man. Every day, evils and only evils, man. Behold, it's come. But you, you're playing around, though. Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. I'm just go straight to the point. Verse 5. This, this is how the Lord is getting down. Dude, this happened in real time now as I make this video. Second Ezra 15, but the Lord going to turn up. Remember, this still is the year turn up. Don't forget about that. Second Ezra 15 and 5. Behold. Said the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus, I will bring plagues upon the world. You see? That's why the Lord said, make no terror to, to seek him. Because he's bringing plagues upon the world, right? Upon the world. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. The sword, which represents destruction, famine, death, and destruction. The Lord came with destruction two times. Letting you know how bad it's going to be. Behold, said the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world. And the phone chimed in. I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. You're not getting, a, you're not getting away around that. You, you, you're not getting around that, Israel. The Lord said, I'm bringing death and destruction, man. N nothing but chaos. Remember, the Lord says it's going to get so bad it ain't never happened before like this. 
The Lord said, the things that I'm bringing upon the earth, it ain't never happened before. But you keep playing around, though. You, you take your sweet time. You know, go, 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 on, go to college. Since, since you want to, since college is more important than seeking the Lord, you continue to go to college. You see, and, and do all that other nonsense. You ain't going to learn a damn thing. I was thinking about that earlier. This, this food system don't teach nobody nothing. You see, you should be at home learning from your parents, learning what the scriptures are saying, learning like the men supposed to be learning a trade from their from their dad and they um the women, the girls supposed to be learning a trade from their mother. You see? But yeah, they, they say they say we we don't cook, we don't clean. And look, look at the men. Only trade they got, you know what I'm saying, from their dad is robbing and stealing and looting and, and rapping and all this other nonsense. But but anyway. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1, but you're going to wish you would have put all that to the side, you know what I'm saying, to the back burner to seek the Lord when these harsh judgments start coming down, right? Remember now thy creator. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now, now, not later. It's high time to wake out of sleep. Community concerns over safety, safety issues. You see, these people don't feel safe. Problem, reaction, solution. You see, Problem, reaction, solution. And all these damn homeless people everywhere just sitting in front of all these damn stores, just, just shitting everywhere, stinking up everything. Come on, man. Remember now, thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not. But they're here already, remember? Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. And that's what the majority of our people are going to hear. The Lord is saying, get out of my face. I don't want to hear you now. It's too, it's too late to hear you now. My ear was open a long time ago, but you played around. Let's get this Proverbs right quick. You played around, Proverbs chapter 1. I don't, I don't want to hear you now. Proverbs chapter 1, and I'm going to just hit the point. Proverbs chapter 1, let's see. 24. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24, because I have called. And ye refuse, how did the Lord call with his men been out there on the highways and byways? I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. The Lord got his hand out trying to pull you to safety, but you're like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You're all hell breaking loose and you still throwing some you good. All right. But you have said and not all my counsel and with none of my reproof, no one could correct you. No one could tell you anything because you knew it all. A bunch of know-it-alls. I also will laugh at your calamity. When you start catching prayer hell, do you not know the Lord says he's going to laugh at you, man? All right? I will mock when your fear comes. Look, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The Lord says he's going to mock you Israelites. They didn't turn back. They didn't seek him. He's going to actually mock you. How is he going to mock you? Through his servants, the prophets. When you go into the world, mock it means to laugh at. You see? I mean, man, laugh hard, man. All on the ground and everything. You're going to wish you would have turned back and started fearing the Lord. When the Lord said, seek him, you should have you should have turned around. When, when Isaiah 20, 30 and 20 came out, and you shall hear a word behind these saying. Matter of fact, let's just get it right quick. The Lord got his prophets out there on the highways and byways, man. Look, oh yeah, you got um, cop impersonators, more cop impersonators on the streets. People pretending to be damn police. It's going, it's going wild out here. Isaiah 30. Isaiah chapter 30. Verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, you're going to go through some, through some things, right? Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. They're on front street. Chief plays a concourse. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Because evidently you was going the wrong way, right? This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. So you're going to hear your teachers. See, blessed are your eyes and blessed are your ears, for they see and they hear. So it's a blessing to be able to hear the Lord speaking through men on the highways and byways. Because remember, let's get this right quick since I'm already here. Let's get this Amos right quick. You heard what the Lord said. I'm bringing plagues. I'm bringing this. I'm bringing that. I'm bringing destruction. I'm bringing the soil. I'm bringing famine. I'm, I'm bringing this, that, and the third. And you like, oh, okay. A A Amos chapter 3. Verse 6, and it reads, shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil, meaning bad times, in the city and the Lord have not done it? 
You see? Should, should there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? The Lord is bringing all the evil, all the bad times is being orchestrated by the God of Bible. Remember, he said he, he creates peace and he creates evil. He creates the bad times, man. Surely the Lord power would do nothing. But he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So, so the Lord got us telling you to seek him. All right? Because when the Lord come, he's coming with fire, man. Matter of fact, let's just get it. Let's just get it. You playing around, not in my lifetime, not in my lifetime, not my God, not my God. The Lord tired of, tired of y'all saying that, man. Been tired of y'all saying that. Not my God, not my God. Isaiah 66. My God is all love. My God, we're here to fly. Isaiah 66, 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. You want to play around with that? You want to play around with fire? Because you're already playing around with fire anyway by not taking heed to this word. But you're going to literally be in some fire soon come. The Lord coming with the heavenly hosts and with the England called UFOs, a.k.a. chariots, shooting laser beams, so forth and so on, concentrated fire. For behold, which means to look, the Lord will come with fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fear. You see, the Lord is coming back angry, angry and furious. And his rebuke, his correction, and his correction with flames of fire. Because the word rebuke means to correct, right? This is how the Lord is going to correct you, Israelites. They didn't want to take heed. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead, meaning judge with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord, the killing of the Lord shall be many you, you you waiting around for that you mean tell me israel you, you waiting around for that you you waiting around for the lord to start willing and dealing more than what he's doing right about now you keep waiting there it's coming it's coming you ain't got to worry about it too much longer don't even worry about it don't even worry about it israel it's coming you 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 said say you wanted to see the lord you're gonna see him look you're gonna see him in the worst way though i mean in the worst way israel you you didn't even th you didn't think it could get like that. Let's see. Romans chapter thirteen verse eleven. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. You don't see all this shit going on. I mean, it's really popping off. The Lord got it popping off like Orban Redenbacher, man. All right. Romans chapter thirteen verse eleven. And that knowing the time that now, not later. Now, not tomorrow. Now, not next year. Now, not twenty years from now. Now. Not when you get old as hell, but now. Remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. And that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now, not later, is salvation near. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, man. So it's right around the corner with all these events that's going on. You can see it's around the corner, man. And I got one more. And I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll. Let's see. Let's get this. This second Ezra chapter 16. Let's see. Eight. The mighty Lord sendeth the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? Ain't nobody turning away nothing. Ten. Matter of fact, um, nine. A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it? Ain't enough water to put this fire out. He shall cast lightning. And who shall not fear? He shall thunder. And who shall not be afraid? The Lord shall threaten. And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? Remember, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return until they come upon the earth. You see? The whole entire earth is being plagued, man. All right? 17, woe is me, woe is me, woe is me. Who would deliver me? In those days, I, add, I added an extra woe. Woe is me, woe is me. Destruction, destruction. Who would deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and the beginning of mourning, the beginning of famine and great death. Do you not see that going on? But you're still playing around with everything that the scripture said. You still play. The Lord said this is the beginning of it. What is it really going to be like in a couple, in a hot second? Huh? The beginning of famine, that famine, when that stomach starts touching that back, and great death, and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, meaning bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Pray to the Lord. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, 
But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. So there's a whole lot of people, the Israelites, is not going to turn back. They're just not going to turn back. They're going to continue on in their madness. And then judgment is going to come. You see? Judgment judgment is, will eventually come. You see? Judgment will eventually come on you Israelites, right? This is madness. Every time you turn the news on, it's just nothing but madness, yo. It's fake every damn thing. Everything fake. Let's see. Behold, victuals, meaning food, shall be so good, cheap upon earth. See, food is being sold right about now, but soon come, you ain't going to be able to find a crumb of bread. You ain't going to be able to find a piece of gum. You ain't going to be able to find a, um, a ketchup packet, a mustard packet, or none of that, man. All right? Victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. These people are going to lose their damn mind, not knowing what to do. And many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish, die of famine. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Shalom.